Welcome back. It's the end of a year, the end of a thing. I remember last year I wrote a letter to all of you. Um, I was talking about ending out that series that I had created and I said it's the end of a thing and the end of a thing is better than the beginning thereof and I always try to remember that so I'm not you know really sad about something and I start thinking about why is this better than the beginning of something so this year has been really good I've loved the engagement that I received when it came to the wardrobe section I really enjoyed all of the pictures that you all sent me so today is the finale of the wardrobe section it is the wardrobe wrap-up and I wanted to share just everything that I could gather that I could find because some things have gotten lost in my email and so if you sent in your picture and it is not featured I am very sorry I'm very sorry that it was lost or that I just didn't get to it there could be a number of things but I did ask for those of you who sent in your wardrobe to please title it wardrobe or closet and so that's what I search in my email just because I get so many emails and you all know that and sometimes it's really hard to sift through so today at the end I'm going to be sharing the wardrobe wrap up of all that you have shared with me so hopefully this will inspire many of you especially going into the new year because let me tell you there are just such a variety of wardrobes of closets and some I'm just I'm blown away by the way some of them look um, just what you have been able to do with your spaces and I had so much fun looking at all of them so a huge thank you to all of you who participated this year it means a lot to me that you did and I know that it helped many of you who also viewed them so there's something different and that is that I am wearing yellow this is not a color that I have ever really felt that I could wear but this is a little bit of a sneak peek of 2022 and some things that I have coming so um, just enjoy it even though it's not necessarily my color okay I understand that but sometimes things that aren't our colors still bring us so much joy and I've realized this year that yellow brings me a lot of joy even if it's not something that looks great on me but um, I think that you can also find different um, tones of that color and it can look really nice and you can also wear it in say a pattern that may not be the majority of that color I've worn um, like the mustard yellow and then the I, I think it's like a pinkish coral color um, in that cream dress that's it's a floral print and I really like that one I'm going to be bringing that back out as soon as possible especially for spring but yes, I have a lot of plans going into the new year. Of course, I don't want to um, spoil everything, so I'm not going to say much more about that. But just know that this is a little bit of a sneak peek. This is actually a Gal Meets Glam dress. I have it in the blue. I think it also comes in a lavender, and I've been tempted to purchase that one, but I'm going to forego that. And just um, if I'm going to do a lavender of anything, it'll be something that I will possibly have made. So um, today what I'm going to share with you are the things that I'm putting away and then some of the new things that I'm bringing out for January. It has still been rather mild here. So um, I know that many people can't relate to this and just what I wear and that's fine. So what I do think that you can relate with is just color changes so for instance a lot of people after Christmas don't want to wear the bright red anymore and so that's something that I put away as well um, you wouldn't want to wear those burnt orange colors especially after fall maybe that's something that you already put away I kept mine out up until after Christmas and then I started putting that away um, 
So I'm just going to show you a few things that you can do to kind of refresh your wardrobe for the new year, especially after the holiday season. It lifts your mood because I know for uh, many people this time of year you can get really sad. You know, you can feel um, just different in this time because there isn't as much sunshine, it's cold, you are stuck inside a lot more and so sometimes a way that we can really lift our moods is by what we wear. Hence, here I am in my cheerful yellow and I am, my mood has been instantly lifted today. Doesn't matter if it's not my color because I am cheerful. So I can be wearing my color and not look as happy and then not bring cheer to anybody around me or I can wear this and just feel my best and just, you know, be cheerful. So I encourage you to do the same with your wardrobe. Find those things that you really enjoy wearing, even if it's just inside, and dress up for yourself, dress up for your family, and just feel good. So without further ado, can I just take you into my wardrobe and show you what I'm doing? I feel that getting a peek into a woman's wardrobe is one of the lovely things that I enjoy. So I want to give that joy to those of you who also enjoy it. It makes me smile to walk in here because I've made it a cheerful place for me. And then um, the wardrobe itself, this is a place that I love as well because it has everything that I love about it, which is dresses, of course. So let me show you. So I have taken the bright red out of here. I still have this berry color in here. Um, I brought back my hot pink. I just wore that in yesterday's video. And then also I brought out my pinstriped ones. These from the Pretty Dress Company. I brought this pink one and then the blue one out. I, I couldn't decide so I got both of them. Um, but it's one of my favorite styles. And then um, I brought out this peach one because I feel that this is a color that I'm looking forward to wearing in the, um, even in the winter. It just brings me happiness to wear that color. So like I said, bringing out all those colors that you really enjoy and that make you smile, that's something that you can do to improve your mood when it comes to the winter time. A lot of us get the winter blues, so that's, um, you know, one thing that you can do to help improve your mood. Up on top, I have my velvet shoes. Now, I also bought those ones in a cream color, although it said white, but they looked kind of like a champagne color, I would say. But I gave those to my friend Jessica, who gave me her blue ones. I think she still misses her blue ones, um, but... Yes, I just got those and I felt that they did not match my skin tone very well. It just clashed pretty badly actually. So I ended up bringing those to her house and I asked her if she liked them. She loved them so I just gave them to her. And then um, I have my off-season shoes back there like some wedges and some uh, open-toed shoes that are like sandal style so I have those back there but then I also have some dressier flats and then um, just some other flats that I have back I there. thought that I would share with you which items I ended up putting away for this season and which ones I'm actually going to sell so let's go with those items I'm going to sell first this is a Gal Meets Glam cream dress. It has that elbow sleeve to it. It's a v-neck and it's beautiful. It has wonderful swing to it, but I find I'm just uncomfortable wearing it because it's a little too tight for me. It doesn't fit me comfortably enough. Even if I were to lose weight, I am going to stick with the other cream one that I have and I'm going to part with this. One of you will really enjoy it. The other thing are these flats. I really like them. They are so comfortable, but I just find that I don't reach for them enough to keep them in my wardrobe. I still love my blush flats more than anything, so these are going to go. 
now for all the blush flats that I am going to be parting with that just, I didn't wear the, any of them. I have these ones here. I have these, which I really love the, um, the V cut in here. This is one of my favorite styles, but it's, it just fits me a little too snugly. So I did not want to keep those. These are really nice. These are a patent. And the thing that did not sit well with me on these were that they were just a little too wide for me. I like my shoes to fit a certain way. And so right around this area, if I can see the gapping, then I don't like it, which in turn means I don't reach for them. And then, of course, these ones right here. So these are nice, but the color is just a little bit off for me. So it has a little bit more, I guess you would call it peach tone. These are more blush than this, and it's really hard to tell on camera, but this just the slightest bit more peach tone. So when I look down at my feet, I just feel it looks off. Okay, another dress that I am going to be parting with is this beautiful Gal Meets Glam dress. This is a lace overlay one. It has pockets, of course, just like the cream one does. And it's about the same style, but it's just a lace overlay. It's a coral color, beautiful. One of you will love it. And I've actually sold one of these to one of you in the past. The other dress is this beautiful blush kind of a peach tone between blush and peach and it is a lace overlay. I purchased this one from um, Nisi's Dresses and it's really beautiful but for me I feel that it just accentuates the wrong areas so I will be parting with this as well. This one I found with my mom at Goodwill and it's beautiful but I don't feel that it suits me very well, especially the color of it. So I also didn't wear it at all this year. Don't really have somewhere that I would wear this to. Um, and if I were to be dressing up, say going to a wedding or something, I would more than likely wear blue or something that is more my color. And so this was just not for me, but I know one of you will love this. It, it's beautiful and I love the lace and the tulle and, and uh, just the color is really nice, but it's just not for me. You can look forward to seeing all of these on Poshmark if that's something that you are interested in. Head over to there because today I am going to be picturing all these items and posting them. Moving on to the dresses that I have put away for this season. This burgundy one, I had a lot of wear in this one for this season and loved that, but I'm ready to be, you know, I'm, I'm ready not to see the color anymore, I would say. And then this bright red one, I don't really want to see. I wore this to a date night with um, our friends and it was fun, Jorge picked it out. He was the one that actually purchased this for me. And so I'm not going to part with it, even though it's not, this is not my favorite dress, maybe because of the color and also where the waist sits. It's not my favorite, but it is pretty on and Jorge really likes it. So I am going to keep it for, you know, the occasional date night that we go on. But that is definitely more of a Christmas time dress in my opinion and then I have this burnt orange one which was fun to wear I wore it for Thanksgiving but then after that I wore it I wore it a couple of other times as well but I'm not going to be wearing that going into the new year now for winter whites I didn't really have anything that did I have something that I took out There weren't any other whites that I took out, but I did have a couple of dresses that I gave my daughter. So I gave her a pink and blue lace one, you know, of each of those colors. And the, those two I got from Nisi's dresses a long time ago when I had first started purchasing from them. And then I also gave her two of my cotton dresses that I had purchased for going to Arkansas this past year. 
because they were a little bit more like prairie style, I would say, and they weren't my style for wearing every day, and she would wear them every day, so she got those, and they look really cute on her as well. So it's nice to be able to, um, you know, find something that would fit the girls as well. Those dresses, like I said, I had them try them on, but those didn't fit anybody, so I am going to be selling those ones. Something that is perfect for this wardrobe wrap up video is to share with you something I've had altered this year. I've been waiting for it and finally we decided exactly how she would do the neckline. I had told her how I wanted it done but she was a little bit nervous about this portion of it because it wouldn't look the exact same way like the way that it was sewn. It wouldn't look the same as it was you know, as the company had done it themselves. So this is a dress by Antonio Milani. I wore this dress in the thumbnail of the home tour video that I did this summer. So it was just such a beautiful print to me. The only thing that I did not care for about it was how it fit up in the neckline. I love a boat neck. And let me tell you that this, this right here, is perfect just the way that it swoops now and I was so happy when she finally finished it and I was able to try it on the other thing that we had done was that this was open in a triangle like this and I had her add some I said you know some lace or something and so she had this fabric right here and I thought it was perfect because it really does play off of the florals that are found within this dress and um, yes the florals are white but they also have this cream definition to them as well so i felt that this was a perfect addition because it's not a pure white um you know fabric right here this is more of a creamy tone so i feel that it brings out a lot of those cream tones found within these flowers here but that is something that i was so excited about this is a dry clean only dress and guess what i did not dry clean it so yes this part shrunk the shell of it shrunk a little bit more than the lining which are made out of different fabrics and so that's something that you have to be aware of when you do if you are going to hand wash something or wash it on the delicate cycle at home and you're not going to dry clean it so i had her shorten the lining that way it wouldn't I also had her actually shorten this dress because um, it was a bit too long in my opinion for me and what is most comfortable on me I really look forward to wearing this in the springtime I'm not so much going to wear it right now this portion of it is my favorite neckline and I just can't wait to wear it now and show all of you what it looks like once I do, but it won't be in this video. So do you have items that you are going to be taking to get altered to make them exactly how you want them to be? That way you will wear them more. Let me know that down below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that this video lifted your spirits, gave you some inspiration, and of course, all of the wardrobes that were shared, thank you so much again for your participation. And I hope that all of you take care and have a wonderful and happy new year.